Good morning, everybody. You are watching the morning show here on Global. It's Monday morning, going to high of 32 later today. It's, it's country weather. It it's is country, country weather, weather, baby. Um, this is your second TV exclusive. Yeah. I'm it's impressed, Mr. It's kind of crazy. Um, just because getting an opportunity to talk to these people who aren't big yet, but, you know, they're rising stars. You know, Carly Rae Jepsen and now Luke Bryan. He's a country star from Nashville. And, and you know, he's he's been in the game for 10 years, but, you know, his profile is really rising. He performed on GMA last Friday, so mm -hmm. he's been all around the block. But you know what? I caught up with him at the Molson Amphitheater last Thursday to have a chat about his career and, you know, just hang out. So here it is. <laughs> Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom, dancing on the tailgate in the pool. A little over 10 years ago, you left Georgia, went to Nashville, yeah. and now three studio albums. You got a sold out concert. I mean, good. did you ever imagine that it would get so big like this? You can dream and work and hope, and it still not happens. So the fact that uh, things have really uh, you know, turned a corner for me and really uh, went to a whole nother level that I'm not even sure I can figure out yet is, uh, you know, it's all bonus for me. Well, I want to talk about the country music genre because three of her singles in Canada have gone platinum. Yeah. Uh, what do you think it is about the genre that creates such a loyal and passionate uh, fan base? Three platinum singles, it's, uh, it's really overwhelming for me and really uh, rewarding and heck, you know, puts a big smile on your face. The whole culture of country music people, you know, is, is very, uh, very loyal and once you once you kind of have the fans uh the fans have your back and once you're kind of in good graces with them it's so nice to know that uh that you're probably going to have that relationship with them forever and they're never going to really turn their back on you and bail you have two young kids i mean how do you juggle uh being a father and and touring so much well, I mean, my main thing is when I'm home, really, really try to be home and try to be uh, a great dad and, and husband, you know, at the best of my ability and and really um, spend time with them and, you know, take them out to the farm and, and, and let them turn over rocks and catch crawfish and stuff like that. And, and, and hopefully, you know, they'll understand, you know, that you know, I was out there really working hard to try to create a better life for me and my family and, and all my friends around me. Well, uh, a confession, I've never gone to a country concert before, so yeah. seeing you tonight, that's gonna be my first time. Awesome, awesome. What are some of the pre-concert rituals to kind of loosen up, like you were saying, and really get into that mindset? My thing is I'll pour a little whiskey drink, uh, kind of kind of you know chills me out a little bit. I think the second I can be relaxed and loose and, and you know having fun, it kind of makes people do the same and they're mm -hmm. like, well, they can immediately let all down, let all their reservations go and start having a great time too. What's left of those blue jeans? Drip a honey on the money, make it gotta be the best buzz I'm ever gonna find. Oh man, so here's the crazy thing. You know, when I think country music, I think like sort of very, very masculine when it comes to the male singers. You know, like they don't, they wouldn't shake their hips like JT, but Luke Bryan, he shook his hips, and you know, Kieran, uh, my producer, he was just saying, he's like the country JT, you know? And it's, <laughs> it's funny, too, because everyone in the audience... He's like the country Magic Mike, maybe. Like, yeah. those were some moves. Those are, he's got some swagger, you know? And, and, you know, that swagger was infectious. People in the audience, guys with their girlfriends, were moving their hips more than their girlfriends. Like, they were gyrating more than the girl, you know? It's so just what did you think? You know what? I it was a great insight for me. I'm not a big country music kind of guy, but you know I do recognize the sort of um, talent it takes to you know put on a show oh, like that absolutely. and write those songs. So you know what? Maybe my uh, music palette is widening <laughs> now. And also I need to work out my swagger hips for the club. No, actually I don't. Call, so <laughs> I just, so gonna, that was a joke. Are you going to be line dancing all of a sudden? <laughs> all right. Thanks, Liam. Yeah. Excellent work. Thank you.